ITPW49 yeah, PFC based EV battery charger using a bridgeless isolated circuit converter in normal boost converter is only used in electrical vehicle but instead of boost converter we used SEPIC converter for the EV, EV vehicle, electrical vehicle for using in electrical vehicle the input is AC because in EV station the AC is a primary source so AC is give us a input which is given to the boost converter in between AC to DC operation takes place and again convert given to the load or battery it is basic concept of the EV vehicle but we have to in, in the case input side the AC voltage is changing in case the basic AC voltage is grid frequent grid voltage is 220 volt in case the voltage is dropped to suddenly drop to 170 volt means the, at the time also battery battery voltage and current is maintained as a constant it is a major fact for the battery storage for the e-vehicle in existing concept AC voltage is given to the diode bridge rectifier and diode bridge rectifier convert AC to DC voltage and given to boost converter the boost converter boosts the voltage into two times and again for the battery is ma maximum in e vehicle 50 to 100 volt is maintained as a battery charging so using the flyby converter flyby converter have the capable of both boost and buck operation but in this project we have to buck the voltage to charge the battery But the main drawback is DBR. Diode bridge rectifier using the right bridge rectifier, the input side power factor and the harmonics increases. In order to reduce the power factor, improve the power factor and harmonics, we have to change into other isolated diode uh, SEPIC converter used instead of DBR come boost converter come flyback is used as a proposed converter the main drawback is already said THD total harmonic distortion total harmonic distortion is maintained as below 5 percentage and the power factor is also maintained as a nearly unity in proposed converter we have to focus for battery constant current and voltage already said in the input side the voltage is varying we have to maintain constant current and constant voltage the main advantage of the proposed isolated CEPIC converter has improved THD, better power factor and size also reduces because we have to combine the diode bridge rectifier, boost converter and flyback converter and form the one single isolated A big converter so we have to replace DBR so use the we have to set as bridgeless so named as a bridgeless isolator sepic converter it's a black diagram first already said in a e vehicle station AC source is given as input and given to the or proposed isolator bridgeless sepic converter and given to the battery we have to control the battery voltage and current using the pulse width modulation you take a current and voltage as a reference for the 
PWM in between current control for using current as a reference using PA current controller and use voltage as a reference PA voltage controller the main application of the, the system is used for the electrical vehicle application EV application is a main and battery storage system battery storage system this is implemented in a simulation tool MATLAB 2015B and the controller is uh, in, a, in a hardware in a prototype hardware using a, a my MP lab to get a program from the MP lab and fed into the PIC microcontroller for the pulse generator for generating pulse it is given to the our proposed isolator SEPIC converter the hardware the main thing in a SEPIC converter the MOSFET is used and the transformer for the prototype concern we have to convert the low voltage 220 to 24 voltage and the microcontroller pick 16F877A and other passive and active components are used finally the ma main thing of our project is to get a constant current and the constant voltage when changing the input the input changing drastically also we have to maintain the constant input and constant output and also maintain the power factor and total harmonic distress thank you